Our aim today is 9.10, intro to Our aim today is 9.10, Intro into Sinusoidal Waves. So here's a reminder, we have the unit circle to your left, it's represented in degrees, and to your right in radians. So unraveling the unit circle. For sinusoidal waves, we will use radians instead of degrees. To simplify this process, we will use coordinates that are easy to graph. And we're going to make the following um, parameters. So we're going to let xy be equal to theta and sine of theta. So if you'll notice here, at zero degrees, or excuse me, at zero radians, um, sine of zero is zero. Sine of pi over 6 is 1 half. Sine of pi over 2 is 1, so on and so forth. If you ever get confused about what your degree measure would be in these instances, if you see a pi symbol, you can always substitute that for 180 degrees in order to remember where you are in the unit circle. So for example, pi over 6 is the same as 180 divided by 6, or 30 degrees. So when we unravel these points, again, you could do others. I just chose the ones that would be easy to graph. Remember that sine represents the y portion of your coordinates. So at 0, we have 0. And at pi over 6, it's 1 half. At pi over 2, it's 1. 5 pi over 6, it's a half again. At pi, your, your sine is 0. At 7 pi over 6, it's negative 1 half. At 3 pi over 2, it's negative 1. And at 11 pi over 6, you're at negative 1 half. And at 2 pi, you're back at 0. So now if you were to connect those, you would get a sinusoidal wave. So what's really interesting is, if you recall, sine is positive in the first and second quadrant and negative in the third and fourth. Notice here, if we were to divide this wave according to each of those quadrants, you'll see that quadrants one and two, your function is above the y-axis, excuse me, above the x-axis. However, for quadrants three and four, it falls below. Also, Notice that sine is an odd function. Now, what are the markings of a sine function? Well, it must follow that negative f of x must be equal to f of negative x. And I gave you two points here for reference. If you'll notice, these two points are the same numerical. Um, their absolute value is the same. However, the fact that one is positive while the other one is negative uh, speaks to them being an odd function. Notice the point symmetry that happens at the origin. So now let's unravel the unit circle with relation to cosine. So here we're going to look at just some of the points on the unit circle. And remember cosine uses x, or x can be used to represent cosine. So I'm going to pick certain uh, points here that would be easy to graph. And so I chose the following. Notice that at pi over 3, you've got 1 half. And at pi over 2, you have 0. At pi, you have negative 1. So I picked those that would be easier to graph. And when we graph that, we get the following. At this point, we connect the um, points of this graph. Notice here that these are waves. So they're not going to be um, as sharp as absolute values. They have more smoother curves. And if you'll recall, cosine is positive in the first and fourth quadrant, but negative in the second and third. So notice here, cosine is positive in the first. Notice how it's above the x-axis. In quadrants two and three, it falls below 
the x-axis because it's negative there. And then for quadrant four, it is once again above the x-axis. Cosine is an even function, meaning that f of x is equal to f of negative x. And notice we get the same y output whether you have pi over 3 or negative pi over 3. Now I wanted to know, can you guys spot the difference here? We have two functions, but notice how the blue graph is double the height of the red. This is known as your amplitude. And the amplitude is half the distance between the minimum and maximum values of the range. The midline is the horizontal line that passes exactly through the middle of the graph's maximum and minimum points. You can also think of the amplitude as the distance between the max point, the height of the, your maximum point, and also the height uh, of the midline. Your homework today is Delta Math SPR.